And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. So we're going to be doing a mixture of main questing and side questing. So make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button, let's get into it. Patrols every half. You're here. What is she doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you you think really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? We're pissing Militech off, so they hammer us into the dirt right here. Shit! Pan Am, can you please tell him? I've already tried. Let it go, Mitch. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board. And you plan to grab the Basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used for some little third world skirmish? Oh, yes. so it's a better use of this right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. None of that sad sack bullshit Saul likes to tack on. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. 
Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands planted? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. I don't have it on my face, yeah, my heart, heart break. Oh, I ain't scared of shit, man, I'll say it to your face. I don't have it on my face, yeah, my heart, heart break. I ain't scared of shit, man, I'll say it to your face. I don't have it on my face, yeah, my heart, heart break. Oh, I ain't scared of shit, man, I'll say it to your face. I don't have it on my face, yeah, my heart, heart break. I ain't scared of shit, man, I'll say it to your face. I ain't stay far away, we'll do a broad day. I ain't scared of shit, man, I'll pull it to your face. To your do a broad day, yeah, you know I'm from the A. I was out the way, I would make That my bank account look good. Just like I got my wish. Time to bust down here. Yeah, right. Had it on my face. Yeah, my heart, heart break. Oh, I ain't scared of shit, man. I'll say it to your face. Had it what? on my face. Yeah, my heart, heart break. What? I ain't scared of shit, man. I'll say it to your face. Face. Had it on my face. Yeah, my heart, heart break. Oh, I ain't scared of shit, man. I'll say it to your face. Had it what? on my face. Yeah, my heart, heart break. What? I ain't scared of shit, man. I'll say Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah. Then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay. Let's get to work. of trains and the stations where so many tracks converge hmm junctions yes those when you see them from above you feel free like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once perhaps more simply Okay, 
Here we are. Carol! What are we looking for? Punch cards! What cards? Would you help me look? Sure thing. Not here. Not here. Not a... Hmm. Oh, well, well. V, look thoroughly, please. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V, the card. In the reader? <sighs> Here goes nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No, I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Get your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait. You're acting spooked, as if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. 
Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. <laughs> Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, Bee. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. Come <laughs> 
plan, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You better move. Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunger junk together. The real fun is just starting to pitch and Teddy. is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am, you can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. But you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.
million of the Fengwang nanobots suddenly ceased their pollination functions, though the cause remains unknown. Investigative committee to determine the cause behind the bizarre phenomenon. Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear. a goddamn rocket ship. I know. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like he just came back from a Corpo War tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set.
All right, let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything gotta... is dandy. Give me a moment. Not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Well, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay, if you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay. This will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am? Is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Okay. Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft, right? Seems a boat. Mm hmm. She'll fly right over any bumps, all types of terrain. Head towards that wreck. All right, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Way to do it. Right. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right. Blast those bricks. Now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. Meaning... Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Okay, let's try this. Guess I'll get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now. Oh, fuck. They 
found us. We have to get back to camp. They're rapid! Full group of them, ready for a fight! They're here, Saul, in full force! Take them out, then haul ash here, and make yourselves useful. We'll go straight to camp. We have to help the family. An interesting day. I feel as if I've barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the other Caldas. Always. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Beer me. To happy endings. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. 
On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Panem, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. It's really not that simple. You either want to or not. What's so complicated? That's the problem. What I want right now doesn't mean a thing. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought... Uh, forget about it. I'll think it over. I... Me? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? Where... Where are we? You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay. B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? You know, Johnny Silverhand? Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Long story. Got a job, fucked it up. Now Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit! Yeah, well, he's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix. And it's getting worse. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. Feeling better. Really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. But how did you lose it? We were worried. Oh, man. Took good care of your ride. You? She's over there. No, wait. But wait. you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Don't concern yourself. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? I know this area, back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, 
Veep. Back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly. Not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks, Pena. Well, I wonder where my sniper rifle went. Alright, I'm gonna load up a different save and see if it's there or not. I think I accidentally sold it. Mmm, let's hope I didn't. Okay, so it's here. Alrighty. That's weird. One moment it's there and next it's just gone. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna replay this mission. Hopefully I don't lose my damn sniper rifle again. It's annoying. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna replay the Basilisk thing again and, uh... Hopefully, I'm guessing maybe, maybe this is what happened. Maybe when I was picking up all those guns on the ground after defending the camp, maybe I dropped it? It's possible. But I don't remember dropping it. Now you can kind of see where I'm like, what the fuck? Where'd it go? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to redo the Basilisk thing. I'll try to do it as quickly as possible.
getting locked up in a Militech camp in the Badlands. Sandstorm set to whip through town. So hunker down, close your eyes and mouths, but keep those ears open. Uncle Stanley will still be on the air. Hey, the basilisk. It's ready. Would you like to drive it? Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear. Ready to go? Hey, V. Carol, still. Corpos haven't shown up in. No, I think. Which was. Fuck. Nice touch. Always wanted. Which is. Beja. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything gotta... is dandy. Give me a moment. Not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Well, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay, if you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay. This will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am? Is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Okay. Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few times. Soft, right? See the boat. All right, I can see you from board. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last one. 
All right. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right. Blast those. Now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. Meaning... Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Okay, let's try this. This'll get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now. Leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I I, I made a mess of so many things. You said I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route.
An interesting day. I feel as if I've barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. <sighs> Come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on me all the count us. Always. I don't know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Beer me. It's a happy ending. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, V. Be... They could pin him. Would he stay? I'd love to pin him. All right. I'll think it over. I... Me? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? Where... Where are we? You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You are... It's... nothing. No. Fuck. So I can see. Will you tell me what is going on? Yes, there's some... That's... <sighs> Bull! Yeah, well... Just trying to... I gotta go. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's so... over there. What? But oh. you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything right. okay? Well, right away? Just like that. Thanks. I'll stick around. Make your... Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? Really safe here, though.
you know, everything here, it is temporary. V, I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think... Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Remember Helm? But it... Thanks, Anna. Yeah, I think that's what happened is, you know, where he blew up all the cars and defended the camp. I think I picked up one of the weapons and it dropped my sniper rifle. Or when I went to dismantle the weapons, maybe I accidentally dismantled the sniper rifle. I don't know what happened, but uh, I'm happy I have my uh, sniper rifle because it's going to come in handy later. So, anyways, I'm going to go try to find a side quest that's pretty quick and then probably end the video.
a damned long while, old friend. Let's see what we got here. It's warm. Engine was running just a short while ago. New coil, plugs. Mm, and somebody's clearly been tinkering with the camshaft. What's this now? Someone cleaned the cooling fan and filled up the brake fluid. Except... Huh, with water. <laughs> New, but used. Salvaged from some other junker. All right, seen enough. Hey, what the... Hands off my car! This... What? No, no, it's my car! No, why would you leave it rusting in a yard? Because it broke down, and I... And you abandoned it, and now, out of nowhere, you remembered you'd left it. Likely story. This last week, I put in sweat. Smarts. Anything to get this heap running. All in all, did a pretty good job. Here, I thought the car was done for. Gone. Yes. Must not have wanted it. Cared as much as I do. I need this car to leave the city. Leave it and never come back. I'll buy this car. Pay you enough so you can get another. But it, it's a wreck. Mm-hmm. My damn wreck. Come on. Take the cash before I change my mind. Jeez. Thanks. I'm not sure what to say. So, give it a think while I take this baby for a ride. Like clockwork. Well, definitely no guy or girl magnet, but seems healthy under the hood. Don't know the half of it. Wait till I open her up. Not afraid you might. Ah, what can it hurt? I'm dead anyway. Floor it, V.
Rachel's been waiting for you. Straight down this street, building with the officer out front. Hmm. Thought you looked more... I don't know. Professional? Whatever. Get in. Don't worry, Olga. We'll fix this. Trust me. We'll be on schedule. Help's on the way. Finally. We're late. Stevenson's been asking for you all day. He's in his dressing room. Go talk to him. Wanted to see me? It seems you're the one friend I have. What does that say about me? What exactly is going on? What am I doing? Why, why am I here? Or maybe I am insane after all. It's crazy what you plan to do. Gonna kill yourself while the studio will reap profits long after you're gone. It's too late. I can't not do it anymore. I, I am so afraid. Will you pray with me? A prayer of your choice. Don't want to pray. But I'll be right here by your side. Breathe in me, O Holy Spirit. That my thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, O Holy Spirit that my work too may be holy. Draw my heart, O Holy Spirit, that I love but what is holy. Strengthen me, O Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. Guard me then, O Holy Spirit, that I always may be holy. Amen. Time to start. I truly hope Zuleika is praying for me now. Will you stay with me to the end? I would like you to wield the hammer. Nail me to the cross. All right, Joshua. I'll do it. <gasps> Thank you. <sighs> Let's do this. You're gonna have to say some lines. A few. We'll put them up on the prompt for you. Not fear God. You stand condemned under the same sentence. Forgive them, for they know not what they do. We are punished justly, for we receive what our deeds deserve. But this man has done no wrong. 
Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Father, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. Amen. Probably my hardest gig, that, but I got through it. What now? Going home, where I'll sleep for two days straight. Be in touch about your compensation soon. Be waiting for your call. Yep. Later. a good place to stop make sure the like button make sure the subscribe button i was not expecting that as a side quest nailing someone to the cross like yikes but i guess it's a good enough place to end anyways i'll see you guys in the next video oh